What's up, guys? It always does this to me. Ah, oh, gosh. We're back with another game of the week video. And, uh, hopefully this is the last, uh... The last week that, uh, it'll be the Chieftain. Uh, right now I'm just going through the Chieftain's field mods. Uh, so I've been playing it a lot in randoms, or not really even that much. I think I have, like, 30, 40 games in the Chieftain since I got it two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. So, uh, anyway. I'm playing on Redshire against the Tier 8, which is outstanding. So I'm gonna go to my favorite spot on Redshire with a tank with a lot of gun depression. Uh, I like to play here in the Kron. Uh, the Chief, the Superconk. Superconk is a little bit worse in playing this position. Uh, but I thought with uh, the Kron Vong and the IS-7, uh, both on the enemy team, that they would be a little more aggressive on this side. And I was fairly mistaken as I bounce off the side of a 110. I'm gonna fire some shots blind into the sniper bushes because there are definitely tanks back there. This is the, uh, when you're using this position, that's really um, one thing you really need to look out for is that you're not giving up your hull armor to the um, snipers back in the back. Um, as you can see, we got a lot of tier 8s pushing down on this line, but uh, we're all down and above them, so their armor is completely worthless, and uh, yeah. We did in the turret from the sniper's nest by NFV. Not too bad though. He just this in the chair. Terrible shot there by me. So this isn't a particularly good game. It's just uh, my best game of the week, uh, damage-wise. I uh, believe we hit that shot. I don't remember. But I don't know why I keep going up, honestly. See, this is kind of a review of my gameplay for myself, also. It's not just uh, me showing off uh, what I was able to achieve over the last week. I mean, it is, but it's not. Um, uh, mostly this week, I've been um, trying to work on my uh, alt account. Trying to get it up uh, to tier 10 so I can... Uh, Get some more stuff on that. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, at some point, you you want to leave this position. You don't want to sit there whole, here the whole game. Uh, otherwise, you're just going to get like a couple shots of damage, and uh, eventually, just your team's going to get overwhelmed, and you're just going to die. So. We're gonna put a shot into the Renegade here soon. Just a quick flick shot into the Renegade. Trade with a Renegade, which is okay, I guess. It's, we could have definitely avoided that damage. But, you can see the M3 Y, and we also see a V get spotted. So, intuition to the HE shell that is going to hit, I think, I think it hits. Um, and then, uh, tracked. Wait. That's not the shot that killed him? What? Could hit somebody else, and then we wait until he goes uh, dark and don't. Uh, So one thing that you should definitely look out for when you are playing uh, any tank is that if they go dark right before your reload, you're you're probably fine to go ahead and fire the shot and still kill them as long as you're tracking them properly, right? So I've been playing a lot of, of Apex Legends recently. I'm not recording Apex Legends, I'm not going to stream it or anything, because uh, my computer is just not capable of streaming it. But, uh, 
I feel like my aim's been uh, slightly improved over the last uh, month or so with uh, constantly playing Apex, so I think that's a, a really good thing for for my gameplay that's, that's gotten a little better. I think uh, my aim's gotten a little better. Obviously, uh, this game is only slightly about aim. Like, I, I, I think with, with shit aim, you can still get to a fairly high win rate for a um, is, is like it not complete shit aim, but like not great aim. You can get to, to pretty high dummy eight with numbers just because this game is more of a it's more of a real time strategy than it is a shooter. So obviously, it's completely unique. To, um, to most games. I don't know why I just wanted to sit up there. That doesn't make any sense to me, but we are going to shut down the STB one. And then we're just going to uh, move the dead carcass of the Timothy. Now at this point of the game, I actually thought we were winning for some reason. So I was like, oh, I can just sit here. This is fine. Then I look up at some point and I'm like, oh, it's <laughs> it's four against seven. That's not good. So now would be the time to fall back. Uh, unfortunately, I don't ping the G-Sword. I do ping the G-Sword and he doesn't listen, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he literally just tries to get one more mag off in that position and it ends up getting him killed. Now, I am playing the Chieftain very poorly here, as I'm like, showing my entire hull going over originally, but I'm just trying to get one more shot into this uh, Renegade so that somebody else can get it in there. Uh, get another one in, I should say. Um, then I quickly realize, hey, I should just, uh, should just go back to my initial spot and then play here. And then, uh, disaster. That Renegade has to be running Turbo Hardening and Rammer. So his gun handling is going to be garbage. But, he... That's the only way I can see him rotating to there. That quickly without getting spotted by me when I was crossing. But fortunately for us, he whiffs a shot into my turret. And, uh, yeah. So we stay at 436 hit points. Three kills. 4,600 combined so far. And, um... I don't know what I'm trying to accomplish here, honestly. Is I wanted to, to help the, the Conway survive the fight against the Leo, and then I was like, oh, nah, that's never gonna happen. But we get an FB spotted, and he's gonna damage. take away almost all of our hit points. And then this T30 is driving W keying at us. I believe he bounces or miss, he misses the shot. I, mean, I thought he bounced it. And then we die. Uh, some rather subpar damage from what it looked. But anyway, obviously, G Source is going to get taken out. And uh, we lose. But hey, we'll see how good this game was in the post game stats. And we're back in the garage with the post game stats. So, I believe we saw 4,800. Um, at the end of that battle, we did um, 2,000 blind damage in this game. It's probably my highest number of blind damage I've ever done in a battle. That I didn't catch someone on fire or amorac them while they were blind. But, um, yeah, high caliber for our 6,700 damage. 
Um, third class mastery badge for our base XP, which is actually going to be looks like a thousand fifty. 1150 1161 1161 so whenever you are calculating for the um, mastery badges uh, if you get courageous resistance so you get courageous resistance for getting battle heroes in the battle uh, doing top like much higher than top your top damage but you're like way above the rest of your team uh, you'll get Courageous Resistance bonus. Uh, obviously, we lost a shitload of credits in this battle because I only fired gold in the achievement because it is a Clan Wars tank and I only really play it in Clan Wars. Or I will only really play it in Clan Wars. Um, I'm only really playing it in randoms to get um, field mods done on it. And to get a bit of crew training done for the crew. Uh, I don't have a bad crew in it whatsoever. It's not uh, the best crew you can possibly have. But it's um, it's actually pretty close. Uh, a lot of the stuff that, um, that I still need on my crew are like not great for um, the Chieftain. So... Um, but they, they'll, still, they'll still work for it. Uh, out of our 29 shots fired, we hit 22, pin 17. Um, some of the blind hits that we fired, we hit uh, the shit barn blind twice, I believe. Uh, we hit the STB blind no times. We hit the T30 blind once, maybe? No. We hit one more time. Oh, I hit the M3Y blind twice. That's right. Okay. So we hit the ship barn twice, and we hit the M3Y twice. Ended up doing 1,500 damage to that. To that FV 4005. Um, so, yeah. Uh, not a, like, um, game-breaking Chieftain gameplay uh, game, but uh, I believe this is actually my best game in the Chieftain so far. And, uh, yeah, it most certainly is. I have 43 games played. Haven't been playing great uh, as of late, so my Jeepton stats aren't amazing. Or as good as they should be, probably. Uh, but it's always a delight to play. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy watching Jeepton gameplay. Um... Because there's probably going to be one more video about uh, Chieftain gameplay. So, uh, hopefully after next week's Game of the Week, hopefully it's not in the Chieftain. And hopefully, yeah, hopefully it's a completely different tank. Uh, it will most likely still be at Tier 10 because that's m majority of my games are played at Tier 10. And, uh, yeah. So, anyway... Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.